Good evening friends, uh, welcome to the QA University video tutorial Selenium IDE part 3. In our previous sessions we already discussed about how to download the Selenium IDE uh, from the Selenium official website and how to install and with what are the various features Selenium IDE offer uh, we, we already discussed and today we will look into the uh, first Selenium IDE script how to work with the Selenium IDE so now I am opening my Mozilla browser so it is uh, open now I am launching the Selenium IDE so by default it is in recording mode and to here the main important point is every action in Selenium IDE will be divided in three parts that is command target and value i am repeating again every action in selenium ide will be divided in divided into three parts like command target and value uh, to understand it's uh, more easily and better and just go through the some example uh, my example is i just want to navigate to google google.com in google search box i want to enter uh, test data as selenium and just click on search as uh, google will give some uh, links right so now i will perform later i will explain how it is divided in three parts and what is the use of it okay it is in uh, recording mode i'm just clicking on this and at google.com here and here in text box I am typing selenium selenium is my test data this is a text box and just clicking on search button ok now here I am stopping now you can see here it is recorded some script ok we previously discussed already uh, it will record each and every step here and this is a untitled because we are not saved this test script okay and we can see here it is generated some html code for the uh, recorded test script here you can see we performed three actions that is one i have opened google.com and i typed selenium as a test data in google search box and just clicked on search button so each and every action divided in three parts so i'm just clicking on this so you can see command is type target is something what it is will i will explain you and the value here okay to understand in better so I am just opening my notepad for example this is google text box this is google text box google search box ok and to enter some data in this text box I have to perform an action called uh, enter test data that will be divided in into three types three parts in selenium ide so the first thing so to type some test data for example i have to enter the test data as selenium okay this is my test data to enter that I have to perform some operation I am calling it as I am typing that selenium test data in selenium uh, google search box that's why I am using here type as a command and the third one is um, <coughs> identifier identifier 
So from this we can understand to enter some test data in Google search box by using Selenium IDE. I want to identify the text box first. Later I want to type that means I have to perform some action. Here I am entering some data in the Google search box that's why I am, I am using this type command to enter data and what is the data we have to enter okay this is three parts combination of these three parts will give one single line called uh, entering test data into the google search box so now i am going to selenium ide here you can observe here the command command is type type is the command to enter some data in text boxes and target is nothing but identifier target is nothing but identifier where i have to identify google search box i am using some identifier here Go, uh, i mean selenium ide recorded some identifier id equal to list hyphen lb so some address google selenium uh, selenium ide stored here to identify the google search box the next one is value value is nothing but anything it is a test data selenium is the uh, my test data so from the first line we can observe that we are just opening google.com that means i have op I, uh, the selenium ide used open command here it's just open command and what is the target target is the uh, url of the google so i have given here there is no value because we just navigating to the google.com the next one is i have to enter some data some test data in google search box that's why selenium ide used type is the command to type selenium value in selenium, uh, google search box type is the command to type selenium as the test data in google search box the next one is click operation and later i just clicked on this button right so for that button just selenium id using click is the operation to click on that button by using some address id equal to underscore fzi is the identifier of this selenium uh, sorry this google search button and here once you execute this you can find some logs here how it will be executing and everything and here is the reference reference is nothing but in in our previous session we already discussed about it right so for each and every command of selenium ide they are given some nodes how it will work what are the arguments it will take so open open is the uh, selenium command it will taking you are less the argument whenever you use this selenium, uh, selenium open command you have to provide you are less the argument you are argument details here they are given you are equal to the open the url to open okay it may be relevant or absolute anything you have to provide it next this is the type type is the keyword or command selenium ide used to type some data in some text box whenever you use this type uh, text box we have to provide locator and value okay here we are provided locator and value locator is id equal to lst fnl ib and value is selenium for the type command we have we it's required two arguments one is the locator and one is the value locator is uh, the address of uh, the address of text box and the value is what you have to enter in the te text box arguments description they are given here and the next one is click click is a command selenium id used to click on something to, to click on some button so to click on something it is expecting only one thing as an argument that is locator 
click operation requires locator as 